Obviously, I'm the mob doctor. So, you recognize your new patient? Witness protection for more than a year. I never agreed to kill somebody. Yes, you did. You I came did. to me begging and pleading for your brother's life. After I killed Moretti for you, you decided to stay. So as long as you're in Chicago, I own you. Does Franco know you killed his boss? Who do you think got rid of the body? That's pretty good. He almost buried me alive. Thanks to me, Constantine thinks you're six feet under in Kenosha. You know what they say, God helps those that help themselves. Just walk away. When I was little, a strange man moved down the street. Neighbors were upset, and I wasn't allowed near the house. Even the cops couldn't get rid of him. But there was one man who could. In my mind, he showed up just for me, and I was always glad to see him. Yeah, I used to come here when I was 14, get wasted and play pool all night long. Really? Yeah. But my uncle taught me how to hustle pool. All right, 12 in the corner pocket, then the nine downstairs. I have no idea what that means. It means you're gonna lose. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Just trying to distract you. You're gonna have to try harder. <laughs> Did you hear Dr. Baylor cut her sabbatical short? Why? Because there's a cardiac auto-transplantation on the schedule. And did she pick a resident to assist? No, but I would kill for it. You know, have to fight Olivia for that. Oh, I'll fight her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Double double! Here we go, here we go. What the hell? Grace <laughs> Devlin in the house. High school friends. Hey! Hey! How you doing? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Jimmy. Brett. Oh, you finally got time to hang out with us peons? No, I'm just here for the fries. Hey, Grace! Hey, Tony. Jimmy, this whiskey ain't gonna drink itself. Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, I gotta go. Say hey to your mom. Oh, 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 hey! Oh, oh, okay, let's have a look. Oh, I'm good. I just slipped. Oh. Occipital lack. Galia is still intact. English. A drunk ass felony you cracked your head open. You're gonna need stitches. It's a scratch. No, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it's because you're plastered. All right, this will keep your wounds closed until you get to a hospital. We'll drive you. I'm good. Next stop, crowing the whistle. Jimmy's dying. Let's move. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. I'll see you. Go, bud. The hospital? No, it's my mom. I hate to say it. You gotta go. Something about a pregnant woman, so I picked some stuff up from the hospital. Well, maybe ain't mine, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, okay. It wasn't. You're upset about the car explosion, man. I'm okay. Yeah, but you saw a guy die. I see men die every day. Listen, Constantine's putting feelers out. Someone's gonna pay. You remember when we were in high school? We used to talk about taking off to Mexico, just boost the ride, drive till we got there. Yeah. Do it. Put your family in the car and get out of Chicago, Grace. Okay, you're scaring me. You don't need this. It's time to leave. Grace, thanks for coming. This is Tracy. My baby hasn't moved in almost two days. Hey, when do you do? About three weeks. You have an OBG by in? Yeah, in Detroit. But Constantine wants me to have the baby here, so he sent Gio to pick me up. He says, you're gonna deliver the baby. Boss, got some business over on Pilsen, all right? I take off? Yeah. Why don't we take a look? So you work for Constantine? Once in a while. Why do you pay for your medical school or something? Or something. So we have good cardiac activity. 
feel heart rates in the 160s. I swear, I've been doing everything right. No drinking, no smoking, nothing. Tracy, your baby's breech. I'd like to turn him. He's the right size, if you'll let me. Will that hurt him? Not if I do it right. Well, yeah, okay. She got knocked up by a politician and broke her little deal trying to keep it quiet. That's all you need to know. I gotta go. I think you got him. Yeah? I'm out here shooting bottles while Constantine takes everything away from me. Yeah, well, why don't you ask me about mine, then? Maybe I got good news. Yeah, what are you, my girlfriend? What's the one thing standing between you and Chicago? Between you and Constantine? Are you serious? You found him? Ralph Severino? You gave me a job. I don't like to let you down. Severino's holed up at some motel on Cumberland Avenue. He's under FBI protection. Yeah, well, I need to get to him. Uh, he's got a marshal sitting in front of his door 24-7. They, they want to keep him alive so he could testify against me, right? It ain't happening. I'm ready. Are you missing the part about the federal marshal? We're not going to get to Severino. I got a way. Profile says she works at Cafe Forno. You got to find her. Who is she? It's my ticket back to Chicago. <laughs> issued this morning, U.S. Attorney Mark Hansen announced that the government will proceed with its murder and racketeering trial against fugitive mob boss Paul Moretti. Former mob Ralph Severino has been in protective custody since All of them stuck in traffic. I want you to look at this. While Moretti remains at large, the U.S. Attorney has decided to continue with the trial. The guilty verdict will likely land Moretti on the FBI's most wanted list. Yeah, I saved the feds a lot of time and money if they knew I clipped them. And you'd be arrested for murder, huh? You know, you really are starting to be a buzzkill, pal. Here he comes. David. Baby boy. <laughs> Long time no see. Come on, let's get a drink. I'm fine, and I prefer Alderman. Stavos Kazan, 15 years you've been acting like your boss was just down the street instead of going gray in Statesville. Uh, he's loyal, which is more than I could say for some people. Come on, let's sit down, David. I'm fine. You know, once a time, wasn't too long ago, you were a young Turk out there gonna change the world. And as I recall, you had both your hands in our pockets. Which is why I took this meeting, but given my stance against the gaming ordinance, I didn't think you'd be backing my campaign. Perhaps we can change your mind. Before Moretti disappeared, he tried everything to get my support. Beg, bribe, bugged the crap out of me. If I didn't change my vote for him, I'm certainly not gonna change it for you. Out of any names yet? Names? Names for what? For your new son. He's due in a few weeks. Tracy Coolidge, she's a beautiful woman. I'm a happily married man. Hmm, which is why you booked your little liaison with the burner phone and paid for it with the pay-as-you-go credit card. Slick, but still greasy. I see prison didn't knock the edge off. Don't call me again, unless you plan on making a sizable campaign contribution. I got your number, Alton. <laughs> so 
I finally went out with the guy from the gym last night. The grunter? Blue shorts. Oh, and? And it was like prom night, a whole day of getting ready for two minutes of disappointment. Grace! I've been looking all over for you. My head won't stop bleeding. Yeah, it's because you need stitches, you dumbass. I'll go down to the ER. Well, I gotta be at the shop in an hour. Can you help me out? Please? Uh, room 406 is open. All right, follow me. No, 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 no. You guys, wait there. Okay, I am going to numb your scalp. Ah, oh, it hurts. I haven't even started. Well, just do it fast. I can't be late. Okay, you want fast? I can't do fast. Ow! 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 Oh, did you just staple my friggin' head? Mm-hmm. With a surgical stapler. All right, come back in 10 days and have those removed. Thanks. I owe you. Dr. Devlin. It's just blood. That's a halo sign. OK, you're leaking cerebral spinal fluid. What does that mean? It means you need a CT scan right now. Get in the chair. Well, what about work? You are taking a sick day. Bro, you'll take him to radiology. I'm going to get that CT ordered. Hey, what are you doing here? Do you remember Tony from the bar? He has a halo sign. No, I mean, why are you here and not with Dr. Baylor? She already started the pre-op briefing for the surgical staff. We ligate the inferior and superior vena cava, pulmonary artery, vein, and aorta, so the organ may be removed. Now, why does the heart need to be removed in the first place? Because the large cancer mass on the back wall of the left atrial chamber is inaccessible in its anatomic position. Good, and what is the hemodynamic significance of the location of this tumor? As Mary's left atrium pumps blood, the opposite wall balloons instead of contracting, impeding blood flow. If the cancer mass increases as little as 5%, it could result in sudden death. Very good. The cancer can then safely be excised from the atrial wall and sent into pathology. After the margins are deemed cancer-free, the heart goes back into the body and we go out for martinis. <laughs> Who's my anesthesiologist? Um, it'd be Dr. Johnston. Uh, tell him I'll be using sevoflurane. Oh, uh, that might not be a good idea. The patient has a family history of malignant hyperthermia. That's not in the patient history. It is now. I spoke with the patient this morning, and I uh, tracked down the mother's medical records. The mother died of appendicitis. No, she died during an appendectomy, an allergic reaction to the anesthetic. I, I would suggest we switch to propofol. Good catch, doctor. You may have just saved my patient's life. Now everyone back to work. Dr. Devlin, can we speak a minute? Thank you for that. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I could help. I'm giving the assist to Olivia, which is no reflection on your skills. You're disappointed. I'm sorry. No, I understand. Thank you. Hey. Hey, Grace. And guy from the bar last night. Tony Picasso, meet Dr. Robinson. Yeah, you had a little flashlight in your pocket. Yeah, you pull a Greg Luganis off the bar. Grace, you ever talked to Franco? I always thought you'd be hitched to that son of a bitch. Oh, sorry. New guy doesn't know about the old guy. My bad. Hey, let's talk about my head. CT showed no fracture, no brain bleed. What about my stain? Cerebral spinal fluid isn't yours. Did you get into a fight last night? No. I mean, the guys were horsing around in the party van, but... Hey, guys. Hey, hey. Yo, hey, hey. Get off. The hell, Devlin? Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy! Jimmy. Oh, my. Nurse, page code trauma, now. Jimmy's wife, she and I went to school together. Yeah. How is he, doctor? He has a cribriform plate fracture with bleeding around his brain. I, I don't understand. 
It's an epidural hematoma. Grace, I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. Just tell me he's gonna be okay. Hey, Miss McDonald, I'm about to remove the blood around his brain. If all goes well, he'll be fine. Please excuse me. Why couldn't you just say that? I'm sorry, I wanted you to understand. That's your job. You're the doctor. I don't know what I'd do without him. What do you need? Tracy's water broke. She's not due for a few weeks. Yeah, we'll tell that to the kid. How far apart are her contractions? I don't know, Grace. I'm over here at my house. She's by herself? No, she's with Gio right now. Gio's mother's gonna go over here and look after the kid until the final arrangements are made. Right, right, I'm on my way. Is that Grace? Yeah. She's on her way over to see her now. He can live in denial of a sonogram, but he's not gonna be able to deny flesh and blood. Once he changes his position, we're, uh, close to a majority in city council. You got that right. Here, there's a little something I want you to have. I figure 15 years of loyalty, you deserve the gold one. If I knew you were gonna get me a $20,000 watch, I would have visited more often. It's all happening, Tino. Everything's falling into place. Let's hope you're right. Hey. So, what can I get you? Uh, I'll have a double espresso. Coming right up. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Rob. Grace, why aren't you in the OR? What? Dr. Baylor's out of transplantation. They're scrubbing in now. It's a slam dunk for a journal article. Baylor picked Olivia over me. You're joking. No. Hey, listen, uh, can you take a lunch break now? I uh, just finished my shift. Why? Can you get me uh, a BOA kit and OB drape set and a pediatric mask? Are we delivering babies now? Hopefully just one, and the mom's in labor right now. How far apart are the contractions? Don't really know. Dilation and station? Not really sure. You do you want to tell me why she can't come to the hospital? Not really. She's in trouble and she needs our help. How's Tracy? Who's she? She's here to help. Oh, unless you want to do it. Okay, you're almost there. I can't. I can't. I can't. There's too much. Yes. All right, ready? Okay, you gotta give us just a couple more good ones. Okay, ready? There's too much. I can do it. One, two, three. <laughs> Push, okay? You can do it. The head's out. We're almost done. I'll suction the nose. One more, ready? One, two, three. That's good, Tracy. Real good. Here he is. Full head of hair. That's good luck. Take him away. 
you away. Everything's okay, Tracy. He's perfectly healthy. No, I don't want to see him. Tell Constantine I want my money. Now. Did you calculate and record the FCAR scores? She wants money. Constantine, tell me the truth. Are you selling this baby? Of course not. What do you think I am, a pimp? Well, you're paying her for something. It's none of your business, Grace. The baby's gonna be okay. She's gonna end up with a nice Canadian couple, all right? Grace, Tracy's bleeding. I gotta go. God, she's hemorrhaging. Tracy, come on. Her uterus isn't contracting. It's completely atonic. She needs Pitocin. And an OBGYN. All right, screw it. I'm calling 911. Grace, she's unconscious. I barely feel her pulse. Oh we have to operate right now. Yeah, can you go away and come back in an hour with ice? For what? So I can chill beer for a party. Remember how you were thinking of going to med school? Yeah. I think of this as a crash course. I really want to thank you again for the assist. You've been working the residence board for weeks, Olivia. You've earned it. The margins are cancer-free and the heart is fully reattached. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go off bypass. Another? Time to close. I'll sew down the aorta. Make sure you can see the needle tip. I know. Attaching to the posterior wall. Your angle is off. I'll reposition. It's still off. She's an SVT. Pulling up our scene now. You just transected the nerve. Step away from the table. No. God, please. I can finish. Move! Get me two units of blood. Sutures. Call Dr. Rack for a new assist. After you gave birth, you started bleeding, and uh, you lost consciousness. Where's the other woman? She had to go, go back to the hospital. I just wanted to wait until you woke up. Yeah, she's supposed to hurt this much. Tracy. Uh, I had to give you an emergency hysterectomy. Because you would have bled to death. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that I I can't have any more children? Yes, I'm sorry. Where is he? Where's my He's baby? just in the other room with Gio's mother. He's she's doing good. Okay, well, I want him back. What? Yeah. If he's the only kid I'll ever have. I want him. That's really between you and Constantine. I mean, Grace, he's the only kid I'll ever have. You gotta help me. Oh, 
Tracy wants to keep her baby. Mm -hmm. The kid's getting picked up tomorrow. You know, I don't know what kind of deal you have with your adoption lawyers, but by law, she does have six months to change her mind. Laws don't apply here. She's not some innocent victim, Grace. She's an adult. She made her decision. Okay. You and I both know that's not true. What the hell are you talking about? She is a $2,000 a night call girl who got knocked up by a politician who wanted money and who's now getting 100 grand. Yeah, now she wants to keep her kid. Stay out of it. You hear me? She's playing you just like she played the older man. She's gonna screw this up, right? What are you talking about? She'll do the right thing. Come on, let's get back to the meeting. Talk to me, Franco. Listen, I found your Peggy and followed her home. Been watching her for hours. Yeah, and? And she microed a burrito, ran on a treadmill, and cut coupons. But, uh, guess what she just finished doing? I don't know, watching Oprah? How should I know? Video chatting on her computer with Ralph Severino. She's his daughter, isn't she? I want to know what our end game is here, boss. Let me worry about that. Why I got your peach? Your friend Jimmy's craniotomy went well. Oh, that's, that's great. I needed some good news. Not so fast. This is the post-op CT scan. Maybe I'm... Um... Correct. All right, I guess I'll go tell him. And his wife. Hey guys, we talk? So your operation was successful, but we did discover something on your brain CT. You're freaking me out, Grace. Deep inside your brain, we found something called an arteriovenous malformation or an AVM. You could have had it since birth. Again with the doctor talk. Basically, uh, you, you have a time bomb in your brain. Oh God. I'm gonna die, Grace? There's only a 10% chance it can rupture. But if it, if it did, you would most likely die, yes. Jeez, Devlin, you scared the hell out of us. 10% is nothing. Can you fix it? There is a surgery. The sooner the better. Is the surgery dangerous? All the risks are infection, stroke, loss of speech or vision. But if it were me... It's not you. Let's discuss this, okay? I would like to get it on Dr. White's schedule. Grace will let you know. Okay, I'm sorry, I understand. Get out! Please leave now. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> A couple more days, I think. Look, I gotta go. Love you. Yeah, I brought you a little uh, peace offering. I don't know, was this peppermint tea or a latte? I'll drink whatever one you don't want. Thank you. I'm sorry I yelled. No, oh my God, you're under a lot of stress. And I've been told I can come on a little strong. <laughs> Remember when our basketball team beat East Side and the riot broke out? You jumped off your chair and threw it in the mix. Yeah, and I got punched in the face for it. Yeah, you knocked out the bitch that punched you. Mm, that's true. <laughs> you never took any crap. Well, what can I say? I'm a sucker for a good cause. Look, hey, Jimmy, I need you to let go. Okay, I just, uh, I, I need you to understand. 10%, we can live with that. A stroke, going blind, it's not worth the risk. Are you really sure about that? Grace. I mean... You're someone who defies the odds. You said you want to be a big doctor. Here you are. 
but me and Jimmy, we're not like that. He works construction. I'm a secretary. There's a 90% chance that he's going to be fine. We're good with that. You understand what I'm trying to say? You change your mind, you'll call me. Thank you, Grace. Dr. Devlin, do you have a moment? My surgery was a success, but after the heart was reattached, and you will cut the recurrent laryngeal nerve, my patient will never speak again because of a surgeon's mistake. Oh, my God. It should have been you in there. Well, it wasn't, and it was your choice. Not according to the chief of staff. He's very fond of Olivia. Well, with all due respect, I'd rather spend my time practicing medicine than politic and sit on committees. Good for you. You're an idealist. Something wrong with that? When I was your age, there were almost no female heart surgeons. My residency director suggested I find a nice husband and go into pediatrics. So how did you do it? There's an old Persian saying, he who wants a rose must respect the thorn. My father taught me that. He escaped a revolution to get me into medical school, so I think it's a good advice. Decide what you want and respect the thorns. Be bold, Grace. Nothing bad ever came of that, believe me. Dr. Bell, will you excuse me? healing up well. Are you here to take him? Constantine's on his way with your money. I don't want his money. I just want my son. Look, I know what you did. You think you're ready to be a mother? You think I'm proud of what I did? I know I messed up. But I just feel like someone has their hand on my heart and they're just squeezing it. I think I have something that might take your pain away. Plane ticket? Look, I'm gonna tell Gio's mom that Constantine wants to see you and the baby, but you'll be on your way to the airport instead right now. I don't know what I could do to thank you. Look, we're going against Constantine, okay? So as soon as you get on that plane, you can never ever come back, you understand? What's he gonna do to you? Beautiful night, isn't it? Surprised you called. Why is that, Alderman? Well, first you shake me down. Now you're offering to make a large contribution. Confused, but appreciate the change of heart. Well, I said I had something for you. Not exactly a contribution, but I think you'll find it interesting. What's this? Run a DNA test on it. Do what you gotta do. But you are gonna change your position on the game in ordinance day. And if I don't? Well, I'm gonna have a little press conference of my own. And I'm gonna invite your wife. Introduce her to her new stepson. If you wanna get out of here, go home and kiss your wife. Check on Tracy, but it looks like I'm a little bit too late. You gonna 
Now, all I can say, you know Constantine will find out. You know, I'm really not a bad guy. And nothing worked out for either of us where we thought it would. You pretty okay being a doctor? You pretty okay being under Constantine's thumb? Sneaking away from the hospital when you should be on your rounds? Lying to your boyfriend and your family? You know what? You're a real jerk. Sorry, I came out wrong. I, I didn't mean what I said. You know what? You don't get to judge me. When you left, I wrote you off, okay? You don't get to have an opinion about me anymore. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, all right? I think... Stop. I think you're amazing. What you did with Tracy and that baby, I, I wish I had half of your guts. Grace? Hey. Hey. Um, I'm Brett. Franco. Franco, I'm growing up. He was just giving me a lift. You know, I was just gonna go and get changed. You wanna get some dinner? I, um, but I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. your dad on the video chat. Why? Do what I tell you to do or I'm gonna shoot in the face. Call him up. Hey, sweetie. This is a nice surprise. Hey, yeah. you're damn right it is. We're ready. Shut up! For 10 years, we were like brothers. I trusted you with my life. And then you turn on me, you scumbag. I didn't have a choice. You had a choice. You could have went to jail and kept your mouth shut. Instead, you cut a deal to testify against me, you fat dog, you. Dad, what's going on? Let her go. I'll do whatever you want. You're damn right you will. Open your desk drawer. Yeah, there's a present in there for me to you. How did you get this past the marshals? I got friends in little places, Ralph, you know that. You like that? Now stick it in your mouth and pull the trigger. What? You kill yourself in front of me right now. Or I'm gonna do things to your pretty little daughter here you never thought you'd see. And I'm gonna kill her in front of you. You got that? Ralph, you know I'm not playing. Okay, I I'll do it. No, Dad, please, please don't. I'll do it. Please don't. Shut up. Shut up. Listen to me. Listen to me. When the cops come, you tell them that your father's been depressed lately, okay? You got that? And if you say anything to anybody, I'm coming back for you, Peggy. say that what I did was in your best interest. How do you figure? Well, I saved you a hundred grand. Trace is in the wind. That's what you wanted, right? 
Honestly, you show a lot of potential. Five, seven hundred covered. Cover what? Plane ticket. What do you think I don't know about it? Thanks for your help. I just watched. This man, he came into our neighborhood to do what cops couldn't. Some people loved him, others were scared. Like then I believed he could do anything. Maybe I was right. I was wrong to oppose the ordinance. The city's broke. We need the tax revenue from these gaming machines to keep cops on the street, teachers in the classroom. Listen to him, he's blaming the economy. He's slick, I'll give him that. That notorious mob informant Ralph Severino has been found dead, the victim of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Suicide. That sound like Severino to you? I told you I was too quiet. Severino had been in protective custody. So how'd you do it? What are you talking about? It was a suicide. Hey, double wrap the cash. I don't want it rolling around the bag, all right? That with the death of its key witness, the government will now be forced to drop all charges against Moretti. Suicide, huh? To me tracking down his daughter? I didn't lift a finger. I don't follow. Let's just say when confronted with his options, that Tutaru made the right choice. And now it's time to reclaim what's mine. Let's go. 